Hi, my name is David Nell. And I'm Aslam Daya, and we're clinical application specialists with Philips Ultrasound. In this video, we'll be exploring 2D image optimization using Philips Ultrasound systems. I'm using the Epic CVX. And I'm using the Epic Elite Premium. Firstly, as is standard practice, I'll begin by reducing the depth, moving the focus and sector width as appropriate for my structure of interest. Now, let's start with the fundamentals. Gain can be found on the 2D rotary dial. It can be increased or decreased to optimize the blood pool and endocardial border definition. Gain amplifies all returning echoes, so clockwise rotation will result in a brighter image, and vice versa. Gain does not impact the beam density. Time gain compensation or TGC controls are found on the control panel. By optimizing TGC settings, it is possible to cover depth-related attenuation, enhancing near and far field structures. 2D optimization settings are found on the left of the touchscreen. This optimizes the 2D scanning frequencies to allow for patient differences. There are five settings. Moving towards H-Res will optimize higher frequencies and moving towards H-Pen will optimize lower frequencies. X-Res can be found on the first page of the touchscreen. X-Res settings optimize image sharpness to user preference. There are five levels, with one the sharpest image and five a more speckled or smooth appearance. The resolution speed rotary key provides optimization of temporal versus lateral resolution. Moving towards resolution increases the lateral resolution and reduces the frame rate. Rotating the dial towards speed progressively increases the frame rate and lowers the lateral resolution. Dynamic range is how many greys are shown on the image. The lower the number of greys between black and white, the higher the contrast image. The higher the number of greys, the lower the contrast image, which results in a flatter image. Autoscan automatically and continuously optimizes the 2D image brightness at the default gain and TGC settings. Iscan automatically optimizes the 2D image gain and TGC settings when selected. Tissue harmonics increases the lateral and axial resolution of the 2D image. It is used to reduce the artifacts such as reverberation, side lobe artifacts, and is mainly used to clear vessels and other fluid structures. This can be turned on and off using the touchscreen. Sono CT allows for compound imaging using up to nine lines of sight on the Epic Elite, resulting in fewer artifacts, clutter, and better broader definitions. The default position is on, but can be turned off with one press on the touchscreen. Wide scan is available on all transducers except the EL184 and the ML268, where trapezoid imaging is available. They both widen the field of view and are available via a one-touch button located on the touchscreen. Dual is located on the control panel. Press dual to split the screen and dual again to flip between the sides. The visual orange arrow demonstrates the live scanning screen. When you would like to return to a single image, press dual off on the touchscreen or press the 2D button in the middle of the control panel. Gray maps further adjust the levels of gray within the image. There are five grey maps, with one having the least grey fill and five the most. Grey maps can be optimized for user preference. Changing chroma maps may enhance the user's ability to view an image. There are various settings to choose from, and these can be altered to the user's preference. It is possible to save your desired image settings. This is done using the Save Preset button. Give your preset a suitable name. This will be saved under the Transducer tab. Your desired preset can also be set as default to help reduce scanning time. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this video useful. If you would like more information about anything covered today, please contact your local Philips representative. We'll be happy to assist you.